Hi! Today we're going to learn about gene therapy as well as its potential in treating genetic diseases. And so hopefully at the end of this lecture series, you'll be well informed about both the techniques used in gene therapy as well as the social and ethical considerations involved. So let's start! Okay, so what is gene therapy? It's basically the addition of genetic material to correct a genetic disease or a genetic defect. The genetic material added is usually a functional normal allele because we want to replace the defective alleles. Currently, gene therapy is usually used to just treat genetic diseases that are caused by a single gene. Hence, these affected alleles are usually recessive, i.e. you need two of these defective alleles in order for the disease to occur in an individual. Some examples of genetic diseases that can be treated by gene therapy at the moment include cystic fibrosis, hemophilia, sickle cell anemia, and severe combined immunodeficiency. We will be looking at some of these specific genetic diseases in greater detail later on. There are two types of gene therapy. First up, we have somatic cell gene therapy. This technique targets somatic, otherwise known as non-sex cells. It can either be ex vivo, where somatic cells are removed from the body, transfected outside the body, and then placed back into the body. Or it can be done in vivo, where there is a transfer of genes directly into the cells when the cells are inside the body of the organism. The ex vivo method is usually the preferred method though. Do note that since somatic cell gene therapy targets non-sex cells, the effect is therefore not heritable, and the genetic effect defect will still be passed on to the offspring. The second type of gene therapy is germline or gametic gene therapy. This method targets germline cells such as embryos or gametes such as the sperm or the egg. In this procedure, a copy of the correct version of the relevant allele is delivered to a fertilized egg, usually via microinjection, and then this is re-implanted re into the mother. This technique involves altering the genetic composition of the cell such that the gene is integrated into the cell's genome. And hence, the resulting offspring will have the gene present in all cells of the offspring. It's important to note that this method only fixes the genetic defect in the patient's offspring. The patient himself or herself will still suffer from the genetic disease. Since this method involves gametes or germline cells, the effect is heritable. However, this procedure is currently outlawed for humans. So what are the benefits of gene therapy? About 4,000 diseases have a genetic basis. Gene therapy could potentially treat such genetic disorders. It can also potentially correct disorders that do not have effective treatments, such as cystic fibrosis and severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome. Gene therapy could also potentially be a permanent solution to genetic diseases if germline cell therapy is allowed in humans. For now, somatic cell gene therapy is effective within the lifetime of the patient. So, at this checkpoint, you should be able to define what gene therapy is, identify and differentiate between the two different methods of gene therapy, as well as name the benefits of gene therapy.